Uh, Joe Milton has reportedly outplayed Drake May in his Patriots training camp. I want to ask you, do you think the Patriots might have some buyer's remorse with Drake May, or is it too early to really, uh, I guess, consider that right now? Well, before I call this Gus Farad, Heat Shuler 2.0, keep this in mind. <laughs> uh, Joe Milton's the type of guy that could wow you in practice. He has an absolute cannon for a, for a right arm. He could do things with that football very few people can do. However, he does have problems in the intermediate game uh, stuff, like the deep out, the comeback, the dig. Um, the very routine passes is where he struggled. And I've always said Joe Milton is a tease. Uh, some might even call him a coach killer because a lot of people are going to get mesmerized uh, by the way he could throw the ball. Like His ability to spin the ball um, has never been a question. But there's also a reason why he was drafted so late. Right. Uh, let's see what Drake May can do. I think Drake May has to be able to process the game quickly um, and just be able to hit routine throws at a higher clip than he did at North Carolina. I Again, I still get the sense that Joe Milton, if he could not thrive completely in a very, very friendly quarterback system at Tennessee, and the game is much more complex at the National Football League level, I have my doubts about him at that at this particular level of football. It's crazy, too. I feel like Drake May, like, his stock has just continued to slowly go down. Just even from, begin, like, the beginning of last season coming into it, it was like him and Caleb Williams, to me, were the top two quarterbacks. At least the narrative was that. As the season went on, I feel like Jaden Daniels passed him up, other quarterbacks passed him up, and now it just continues to, to like, kind of trickle down, at least, again, the narrative of it. Obviously, you got to go out there and perform, and we can change our minds there. But I just wonder, what, like, were we over, like, praising drake may early on was he like did he, did he fool us or are we now being too i guess critical uh, of him mm. in, in these last few months i don't know what side well, hey, no, hey, hey, hey steve what's up steve i want to i want to can i answer for steve real quick steve was very high on drake may he had me he was the first one to get me watching him here at the palooza lounge um and then steve's fairness to steve later on steve was like man i don't know i think drake's drake's kind of hit a peak here like this was like a little bit last year watching him so now uh, the question you asked Steve, Steve, go ahead. Are you still as well, high well, as you were when you first started to see the white Drake made by this? The white well, here's Drake. the thing. His first 10 games, he was really good. His last 12 to 15, he has not been as good. It is what it is. But I also think a factor was last year he did not have Josh Downs, a slot receiver that was very, very productive at UNC. Here's the issue that Coach, Coach anyone, receiver now. Right. And he's gonna he's a good little player. Here's the issue with the Patriots. No matter who lines up around center or under center, Julian Edelman ain't walking through that door. Deion Branch ain't walking through that door. Stanley Morgan ain't walking through that door. The Patriots, for at least a year, had the worst set of outside talent. What they actually did to their previous quarterback, Mac Jones, I thought was unfair. They gave him two defensive coaches as a coordinator, they surrounded him with the slowest, most nondescript group of wide receivers in the league. And guess what? Um, I know that they got uh, my guy out of Miami, K.J. Osborne, but K.J. is more of a two or three. He's not a number one. So I think no matter who is going to be out there, um, they're not going to exactly have Randy Moss going, uh, you know, running go routes out there for him. Yeah, that's true, man. It's going to be a tough season for the Patriots, regardless who starts, who plays. Hey, Steve, um, my question to you, Steve, that's because you asked me. My question yeah. to you, Steve, is, is can the Patriots surprise you, though, in the East and be and get out of the cellar? That We preconceived that they're the cellar team. That they Can they be – They can they actually be better than a team that's, un, that's questionable, lost a lot in Buffalo? Miami can't play in the cold. And we don't know what they are really like. Can this can this uh, Gerard Mayo get this team to do more than we think? I mean, look, if you get to around 500 and you and you go what seven and ten, eight and nine, I would consider that a great job. This is a rebuild. Generally, when you have a top five pick and you earned your way there, <laughs> there's a reason for it. You weren't very good, so I kind of look at this roster. You know, look, defensively, they were still kind of tough. But offensively, they, they have to start making some real investments on that side of the ball to surround whoever their future quarterback's going to be. Yeah, 
No, nah, they do. They got they got a lot of things that they need to invest in to get that Patriots team back to like relevance, in my opinion. But 